police brutality and we are here to monitorizing the people uh, the police to see if they um, keep inside the, their own uh, police law which they always which they don't always do and then we observe it and we have uh, cooperation with some lawyers and some uh, legal groups for for legal rights and uh, we also send out uh, messages to the press when it has been very um, uh, violent or anything. That's what we do. But we are neutral. We are not uh, participating in the demo. We are just uh, here to watch. Two days ago where people were sitting in the cold uh, streets for four hours. That's a kind of brutality. This kind of thing looks quite uh, peaceful. So uh, I I will see what will happen today. Um, I'm demonstrating because uh, I think it's really important to show solidarity with people who want to move across the world. It's a freedom that is everybody's and people don't always want to leave their places where they live, where they're born, but they have to because of people like us who live in this rich, these rich countries which burn lots of fuel, which take lots of resources, which make life really difficult for them in their countries. So they come here and we treat them like shit. Stop! It's wrong. We can try to make it better for them while they're here. That's what I do in uh, where I come from in, uh, in England. Uh, we try to help house people in squats, uh, but we need to house them with other English people so that the police don't bother them so much. Um, we can campaign, I don't know what else we can do, try to take down the system. <laughs> the changing of the climate is what's driving people from their homes, it's, it's making their countries really difficult to live in, so, you know, that's why we need to fight it, so that these people don't suffer. It's not us that feel the effects of climate change, it's other people, but it's not them that makes the problem, it's us. And it's really important to remember that this isn't just some kind of anarchist utopia. These are demands that are coming out of the Klima Forum and the delegates from the Global South right now. We're all in this together. No borders, no nations, no deportations. No borders, no nations, stop deportations. They've had enough of their rubbish in their lives. The G77 negotiator, which is a representative of the Global South Nations, have just walked out of talks with the Danish president. I think the Europe, West countries, they're making war another place, but they don't accept the people coming here. For what reason? Freedom, have a peace. They can be, be find the peace, their own hope, but they come in here with hope to find peace, which is never get peace. Myself, I'm a refugee. I know what I'm talking about. I really want to change the world as it is destroying itself right now. So, for me, the main targets here are to change our complete economic system and social system. It means uh, we have to stop to grow all the time our economy as long as we destroy our own lives. And we destroy more than anything else uh, the lives of people in poor countries in the southern part. So, um, what we really need is a growing solidarity. We need to start to be solidar uh, solid to have some really a social kind of thinking to support ourselves and to support people who really need our support. So um, for me it's the main goal here to grow a kind of mentality which doesn't try to get richer all the time but just try to have uh, everybody uh, a respectful life. It's not only about changing our lifestyle, it's, uh, it's as well about changing our lifestyle as we cannot continue to destroy the earth at the same time um, as we uh, want solidarity. So this is one side, changing our lives and on the second have our hard and and straight political line. For example, come to Copenhagen, go to the streets, tell everybody we want a real change. It's a question about recognizing the right for every human being to have a life. 
about solidarity, freedom of movement and equal rights for all. And so we meet today to point out to the leaders of the world that the climate change isn't just about emission of carbon dioxide or how to provide the global capitalism with new markets. The climate changes is about displacement and destruction, about resource wars, land grabs, state repression and corporate control. So the fight for the system change and not climate changes is about breaking down and abolish legal and physical walls surrounding the EU and US. Walls meant to secure the hegemony of the ruling classes and keeping out our fellow human being fleeing from floods, drought and famine caused by the climate changes. Today we march and we take direct acts of solidarity with people from all over the world. And we celebrate all those who are challenging the state in their fight against borders and the division of people. No one is illegal. I think it's wonderful. These are very brave young people and uh, we're to I totally support them. Uh, they're fighting for justice and they're fighting for a future, uh, a just future, both for climate and for human rights. We have a very bad world right now. We have a lot of injustice and economic globalization is hurting the planet and it's displacing billions of people. We have to stand together to support a different kind of a, a vision and they, they represent the vision I support. So I'm a little worried about the police and so it's important that there are observers and supporters here. Refugees are 